Hi there, welcome to another episode of Wassel Woodworking. Today, I'm gonna to be starting a series on installing a laser on my CNC machine. And the first video, this one is going to be about in, uh, building a shoe for the router that clicks onto the bottom of the router base so that I can mount the laser onto it and burn wood. So it's gonna be a couple different steps. First, we're gonna take the wood and prepare it. Second, we're gonna route it on the CNC machine. Third, we're gonna flip it over and route the bottom side so there's a place for bristles. And fourth, we're gonna paint it, mount the laser, and then fifth, we're actually gonna insert all the bristles. And then I'll show you what it looks like when it's inserted on the CNC machine. Next video up after this one is gonna be about the smoke extraction, taking all that smoke from the burning and sending it outside into the yard so I don't have to smell it in the house and same with my family, so they don't have to smell that either. So I hope you enjoy this video. In order to cut the slot on the bottom side for the bristles, I first had to figure out how to position it on the layout of the CNC machine so that it would know exactly where to cut. So what I did first is I took the eighth inch hardboard and I actually cut in a mirror image of the item. And once I had that, that would allow me to place the three quarter inch shoe directly on it. And then it would is now referenced um, by the computer so it knows where it is and then and only then could the eighth inch by three eighths of an inch deep groove get actually cut. Here I am mounting it and unfortunately before I got this done the GoPro battery died which unfortunately becomes a common occurrence so I don't have any more footage. The GoPro ran out so I kept working with it and I forgot to record some of this so basically I made a shoe that goes on the bottom of the router and everything connects with uh, magnets on the bottom to hold it in place. And on this piece here, I have actually mounted the laser in it and it slides right in and it's supported and you can see on the bottom where the laser comes out. Now also you'll notice in here, if I can hold it in the light just the right way, there's uh, a groove in here. I'm gonna take bristles and put them in there that will basically provide um, protection from the light as it's doing its stuff and hold the smoke and of course the two inch will uh, hose will end up taking all the smoke out and I gotta work on something to eject it outside so it doesn't recirculate in here. I'm gonna put this back on and then I'm gonna try to get it to fire so that you can watch and see what actually happens. Alright, so I'm using the jig for holding the round two it's in place. I'm just gonna put this on here because it doesn't matter if this gets zapped a little bit. And then I have the power supply here and the cord here. Now eventually this will have a relay and the CNC machine will um, use it to turn this on and off. But uh, I'm gonna let you look at it and watch it as it fires. All right, so it's ready. So here I'm gonna see how this works. So you can see the smoke pouring off it when it fires. Do this for a little bit because I don't want my wife to get upset with the uh, burning everything. So I have purchased a broom handle and I'm cutting the pieces out and I will take them and 
cut them out and basically with hot glue stick them in place and then hold them until they firm up. So it's pretty simple, you just put the knife down, cut, and boom, there they are just like that. So I've just put some in the hot glue and I'm holding them vertical like that. That's pretty much how you do it. And uh, I'm sure a lot of these are gonna end up coming out. But uh, so now I'll take another batch And I'll hold them in a swath about three quarters of an inch wide. Take this a three quarter inch wide swath. And those are in. We'll do some. All right, so I've finished putting these on. They're still a little warm in spots, but I'm gonna let this cool, and then I can take out the bristles that are loose, uh, little string pieces, and uh, basically that's it. It should look uh, should look really good. So, here is the finished uh, part. Hopefully you can see this well. It's got the hole for the router, the hole for the dust extraction, or smoke in this case, and then it has the small little laser that I bought from Banggood on here. And uh, in the next show we're gonna be talking about uh, smoke extraction. This also, just like my other dust uh, shroud for the CNC machine, actually has three screws in here that mount and allow it to positively lock into magnets on the bottom. Other thing, just to talk about safety. When you're using the laser, you have to wear goggles that allow uh, the light to be filtered out. In this case, I'm using a blue laser. Uh, these goggles, they're actually green, but when you're using them, you don't even see the laser. You just see where it's burning. Uh, without it, it's extremely bright. It can actually damage your eyes. So if you're gonna play around with lasers, make sure you protect your eyes. You only have two of them. Thanks for watching.